Hey everybody, it's Belle, and I'm here playing uh, probably one of my favorite games uh, ever, which is Crypt of the Necrodancer. Now, I used to play this game a lot, I haven't played it in a long time, uh, so I'm not going to be great at it. Um, but basically, it's a roguelike where you you have to play on the beat down and that. You can only move during the beat, so you'll see the, the little heartbeat thing at the bottom. Okay. Which determines when you can move, and also the enemies move on the beat as well, and they have specific patterns, which I don't remember, obviously. Or how much they hurt for. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have a hard time being on the beat um, when I'm talking, and I'm going to do my best. And then each floor has a boss. I just keep... And the bosses all do something different. Like that was the Minotaur, and so he'll move each time on the beat. Um, and then when you are in his line of sight, he will charge. And then he won't stop until he hits a wall. And when he hits the wall, he breaks it. Those little squares on the floor are traps. Which, uh, they'll do things. Like when it's just one arrow, what it does is it boots you up. When it's like a double arrow, it changes the tempo of what you're doing. And then that one there will pop spikes out of the ground. And then, uh, as you continue... Oh, there's a dragon. Yeah, oh, shoot, it's a red dragon. Oh, darn it. <laughs> I don't like the red dragon. Uh, press up, down to continue. Um, yeah, anyway, the red dragon, you have to match its pattern, and then if you get in the same square as it, then it will uh, blast fire after a, a short delay. And again, a lot of this is just uh, knowing the patterns, and um, again, haven't played this in a while, and I'm having a hard time remembering the patterns while I'm talking. <laughs> I don't remember how the whip works. Oh, that's right. It's in an L. Each, uh, each um, weapon has a different sort of like attack radius. Ah, uh, sorry. I was paying attention to how the dragon moves. But yeah, each uh, different weapon has a, a different way that it attacks. A different direction that it goes. So, oh, I need the blue key. That's it. I actually haven't seen that jar before. That must be something new they added since I started. Since I haven't played. Uh, 
Um, but I just kind of want to get to at least one of the bosses during this video. <laughs> I say that I'm not even watching my health. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I haven't played this in a while and I keep missing beats while I'm talking. I'm not paying attention to patterns. But this game is really fun and the music in it is amazing. Hoping there would be a, there we go. Uh -huh. <sighs> this is a lot of gold. And the, uh, the music also denotes how long you have in the level, because, um, you can only be in the level for so long. And as it starts, uh, changing, you'll actually see the, the color of the bars change. So, there, I did that dragon right. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing okay so far. That is the beat. And the thing is, uh, once you start moving in a level, you gotta keep moving because you'll lose your bonus if you do not. Now, that trap door, I could go down there if I was, uh, if I was trying to like speed run this because that would actually uh, make this much faster. Um, but the thing is, is once you go down there, like, the boss is right there. And, um, I am not good as the boss in, like, all the enemies. Alright. I'm gonna jinx it and say that we're doing pretty well so far. Oh god, this is the best I uh, I can say jinx it. Alright, we're gonna... We're going to try one more time with me being absolutely terrible. Alright, here we go. Things I do from the start bomb. Those gold uh, walls have gold in them. So, if you get a, a shop right from the start, you can on the walls. I am so bad. Bad at paying attention to patterns, especially when I'm like talking. But anyway. Um, this game is fun. It's, I find it to be like a lot of fun, even um, not being as not being that great at it as I am. Uh, and you can do a lot of things, like you can unlock different characters, you can um, play it a lot of different ways. And the different characters actually change how you how you can play because um, not only do they uh, not only do they um, they just have like a different sprite but they'll they'll change um, how you interact with items how you interact with monsters like there's a, a pacifist one there's up left there's a pacifist one so you feel like you can't fight anything <laughs> Paying attention, gonna ruin everything. 
all the things I've worked for. There's a, a diamond here. You use the diamonds to unlock stuff in the uh, menu area. There's um, people you can talk to and unlock things. I don't actually know what I just picked up. And consumes torches on the walls, and I'm not into that. That's it. Uh, maybe I'll do another one of these. I'll, I'll get to a boss. Um, but I think that's enough of watching me fail. Um, but yeah, I, I really recommend this game. It's especially good if you're not trying to talk while you're playing. Um, and you just you want to listen to the music. But all the music in it is amazing. It's always different every time you play. Um, and if you're better at uh, pattern recognition than I am, or just repeating patterns. Uh, it's a it's a lot of fun. Um, and they've got things like yeah, daily, cha daily challenges, uh, local co-op. Uh, they have a, a dance pad mode. Um, and then once you unlock everything, which I haven't, they also have a level editor. Uh, so I really recommend this game. Um, it's It came out, I think, last year. And it's just, it's been really awesome ever since. Uh, so thanks everybody for watching. Um, I might do a second one of these uh, where I show a boss, but <laughs> probably not. That requires me to stop failing. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Bye!